Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Zaneev and today we'll be playing Panzer General 2. This is one of my favorite games when I was a kid. It was a turn-based strategy by a company called Strategic Simulations Incorporated. They did they did a lot of good ones. Uh, although their their pool of games was somewhat limited to turn-based strategy and uh, turn-based strategy and role-playing games. But nevertheless, they were quite fun and this one was my favorite. It was very well done. It was much better than the original, I think. Panzer General 1. Just everything, the animations, the the scenarios, the campaigns, they're all better. So, anyways, I'm going to get started. And the first video is going to be about explaining the stats in regards to how they work, the game mechanics, as far as I understand them. If I get anything wrong, please let me know in a comment or a private message and correct me because I have a feeling I don't quite understand all of it. Anyways, let's go. So let's start our campaign. We're going to be doing the Blitzkrieg. Let's see, Blitzkrieg, German campaign, 1938 to question mark, question mark, what? They don't know when it ended? All right, fine. <laughs> you take command from the Civil War in Spain to the lightning victories of early World War II and beyond. So, let's get started. Let the oppression begin. Ah, good day, Herr General. Please sit down and allow me to explain the present situation. The Spanish nationalists have requested the help of Germany to wrest control of Spain from their enemies. In leading this expedition, you will have the opportunity to sharpen your skills in the art of war. You will test the Generalstaff's new ideas regarding tank use, concentration of force, and combined arms operations. Your expertise can then be put to work towards the real objective, the return of Germany to its proper place the leader of Europe. There you go. I'm inspired. I've also noticed he only used one German word in that entire, well, speech. Und. <laughs> Und. Oh, well. Okay, so, I'm gonna show you the basic stat screen of some, some units first. Let's start with, uh, let's just pick a random one. Doesn't really matter. So here, right here with this petrol can, it's pretty obvious, it's fuel. It's uh, how many hexes they can use, how many hexes they can move, sorry, before they have to refuel or resupply with this button down here, supply. That's obviously your nation's flag. That's what country the unit belongs to. Ammo, this is how many times it can attack before resupplying as well. So range, uh, this is obviously how far you can attack. Uh, the game is set in hex tiles, so you're going to be able to attack with this unit one hex away. So just, you know, consider it melee, right? Next hex you can attack. Initiative. Uh, this stat affects combat rolls quite, uh, quite significantly. I understand the units with higher initiative, even though they may have lower attack stats, they might actually perform well, uh, better in battle or have a better chance to. I'm not quite sure about that. Spotting range. So two hex squares away, that's what this says right here, is how far this unit can see. So if there's a unit uh, as far away as this mountain, an enemy unit, it will spot it if it's a distance of two hexes away, but anything beyond it won't. Strength. This is basically your HP, uh, you know, how fully stocked and ready your unit is. You can actually over-strengthen units later in the game. So you'll have units, some something crazy like 14 out of 10, and you'll just destroy everything in your path. Well, until it you know, gets you back down below 10 again. Now let's go over the attacks. This is a hard attack. Uh, basically damage against hard units such as tanks, some anti-tank placements, and some other units do become hard units even though they usually fall into the soft target category. As you can guess, this infantry here falls under the soft target category, <laughs> which is why you have a soldier on this next stat, which is your soft attack. So that's your attack against everything else, basically. Now this is air attack. So airplanes, pretty straightforward. Has zero air attack. I mean, you can't really shoot that high up anyway. Next you have naval attack. So attack against ships, one, not very good. And I haven't actually encountered very many ships in the Blitzkrieg campaign, so 
Uh, well, then again, I've only played to like Windsor. So we'll see. Now for your defense stats, ground defense. Uh, how good this unit is against repelling ground attacks. So attacks from infantry, tanks, recon, etc. Air defense. It has pretty good air defense. So I imagine it would be pretty hard for a fighter or a bomber to, you know, pick off uh, soldiers one at a time because they could, you know, easily disperse and hide as opposed to a tank or like a recon or a truck. Ah, closed defense. Now this is one of the stats I'm not quite sure about. Uh, the instruction manual worded it strangely, and I can't quite remember, but I believe it was uh, your defensive role against uh, infantry units when you're in cities or uh, rough terrain or forested terrain or mountain terrain. I'm still not quite sure. If someone could help me out with that, that'd be great. I, uh, I just don't know exactly how that works. But I'm sure it's important. <laughs> I'm sure it's the reason why I uh, don't get many brilliant victories. So range defense modifier. Now this is very important. This affects, this is the unit's defense against ranged attacks that are not from artillery. Say that again, ranged attacks that are not from artillery units. So in this game, uh, tanks and some other units, I believe, can actually fire over one hex away. And this role will come into play when they are defending against such an attack. It doesn't happen very often in my experience, um, so it's not really that big of a deal to me. Alright, so I'm going to show you some a bit more of the uh, stats here. Now this is its leg movement, how far it can move before getting into its uh, vehicle, if it has one. So it's a truck right here. So it can move three hexes, not very far. It has infinite fuel as a... At least I think it does. Yeah, oh, okay, the fuel is just for the truck. So infinite fuel is a leg unit, makes sense. I mean, <laughs> people don't need gasoline to get around. And there is its class right here. Next you'll see the experience level. This determines whether it, uh, how well it performs in combat and you know, the more experience, the, the better it does, basically. And over current strength. Ah, entrenchment. This is this is very important. If you have a very high entrenchment value, you are almost unstoppable. Or not unstoppable, unmovable. <laughs> uh, when other units try to attack you. You can usually get a very high entrenchment in cities or rough terrain or mountain or forested terrain, like I said. Uh, but in clear terrain, you won't get very high entrenchment values. And infantry are really not that great in clear terrain. Okay, what else is there? Uh, oh, this is, I guess, it's killboard right here. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, anyways, without further ado, let's start conquering Spain. So we have our two groups over here. We have three groups of infantry and one artillery. And then there's a second group, which is our main force, pretty obvious. We have three artillery units. One, two, three. A tank, I believe this is... Oh, this is a Spanish tank. So this little guy has very poor stats, as you can see. He's not going to be very effective. He's just going to be a meat shield, really. And our recon unit. Now, recon units are very important. Uh, without these, you will lose. Because in this game, if you run across a hex and there's a guy next to it, um, and you don't spot him, he'll surprise attack you and you'll get slaughtered. So... Recon units are very important to to have. Now let's see. Let's go into the requisition tab. See if we can buy anything. I have 500 available prestige. And in my experience, what I've learned this game, uh, being called Panzer General, it's obviously a very smart idea to buy Panzers. <laughs> so you need tanks. Tanks are very useful for this. Um, they have a very special attack against infantry. They seem to perform very well in clear terrain. And they have a unique ability called Overrun, meaning if the infantry unit's weak enough that you can kill it in one shot, it will get a free attack. And if you didn't move very far, uh, extra movement spaces. So yeah, it's pretty good. So let's buy, let's buy one of these, or maybe this. What's, what's the stats on this bad boy? Ah, this is better. The Panzer 2D. Let's get that and. Let's also get, oh, we already got one. Yeah, I just bought that. Let's get some artillery too, because, oh, darn, we can't get the good stuff. 
And... Well, I'm not going to be attacking tanks with it too much, so I'll just get this. Prestige. Uh, yeah, let's get a truck. A wagon is not very good for artillery. It will take forever to move anywhere. So just don't bother with that. All right. Let's have two artillery there because I want to just run over these guys. I don't want to spend you know, an extra couple of turns farting around over there. All right. Now, let's go take Al, Al, Al Madrones. I hope I pronounced that right. Probably didn't, but oh well. Now, these guys are blocking us. See, right here, although there are space, there's a space open, we can't get through because each unit is what's called a zone of control. The zone of control spans one hex around the unit in a circular pattern. So basically what that means is you cannot move here beyond one hex at a turn. So you have to destroy the unit to get around it effectively. And we can do that. No problem. Hmm, what should I attack first though? Let's go for the infantry. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn the sound on. So you can listen to some cool battle music. Let's put it at uh, 20%. 20% is good. Okay. Here we go. Huh, that didn't work. Oh, I know why. There we go. Now we can hear. Sorry, guys. Turn the music down so that you're not uh, swamped with it while I'm trying to talk. Okay, artillery. Hmm. My experience is that tanks are very good against <laughs> artillery. Soft units don't do too well. Oh, that's, that's, that's loud. Oh, my God. Turn that down. There we go. Alright. So let's just move our guys forward. We're not going to attack yet. And you see this right here. Um, you have four for the flag with the Germany flag and two for the uh, Spanish rebel flag. This means expected losses. And the reason this is so high is because of this guy. Because whenever you attack, when you're in range of enemy artillery, they will fire to defend their units. So you don't want to, uh, you know, go crazy and just start, you know, attacking all of them. You want to have some self-control here. Let's attack that guy. All right. I'll show you also, um, whenever you attack, there's little stats that come up here. Okay, zero for Spain and two for the rebels. Great. Oh, there's that support fire. Now see it said two destroyed and one suppressed. That means two of the units were destroyed during that attack and one was suppressed. So it lost two from eight, had six, and one suppressed means that one of their units does not have the ability to attack or defend. It's, uh, you know, it's suppressed. It's under fire. So when you have a high, when you have units being suppressed, it's basically like they're killed for that turn. Which helps a lot. Okay. Recon vehicle. Oh, what the hell? Move forward. And we'll get you to... Oh, yeah. Something else I should know about recon. If you don't move them the, the entire distance they're capable of, they will actually be able to move the remaining hexes in a separate uh, phase. So, like, if you run across something and you go, whoa, whoa, okay, there's too much here. Let's go back. You could fall back with it in one turn, which is... A godsend, really. <laughs> Alright. Let's get going, boys. Okay, pretty much all I can do for there. We just want to keep the artillery back here. We don't want them to get pegged off by the uh, infantry. Especially when they're in transit mode. They'll just get killed. Alright, so. We have these guys. Sitting pretty in this town. Of Jadrak. Blissfully unaware of the impending doom. One destroyed, four suppressed. Great. Fire again. Ooh, three destroyed, six suppressed. Nice. Okay. They seem to have good defense against that. Uh, let's see. 
Let's do this. Nope. Oh. Support fire. And they're dead. So, <laughs> that's great. Let's just move this guy forward. So that when the artillery does attack, it'll hopefully attack him. And tanks actually are pretty good against artillery fire. Artillery generally doesn't do much damage to them compared to infantry. It just wrecks infantry with ease. Okay, let's move this, this thing out of the river. It's probably not going to do very well there. And move ourselves up slowly. Okay. And when you kill a unit and take over a town, you get prestige. Now, prestige is what you use to buy units with. Uh, the more prestige you have, the more units you can buy. It also affects your supply and replacement, which I forgot to mention. This is it. Replacement. If you get, like, uh, this guy reduced down to 2 out of 10 strength, just hit replacement, and it'll take uh, from your prestige to increase the strength up to 10 as much as possible. It won't go beyond it though, so if you over-strengthened it and you lost and you lost that power or that extra strength, you've lost it for good in the campaign. You have to over-strengthen again next turn. Or next mission. Okay, so we've done all we can. Let's let the rebels have a shot. Oh. Alright, not bad. You attack my infantry! You're not supposed to do that. They're squishy. That's okay. So are yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. Don't want to do that, really. Tell you what. I'll soften you up. Very good. Hmm. Three suppressed. Oh, rugged defense. You do not want to see that. <laughs> rugged defense is a uh, random, basically a uh, a pleasant surprise for whoever is defending. Uh, means you get nothing for kills and they get a lot more. It's ticked by, I think it's, I think it depends on initiative and terrain as well. Uh, cities and forests also help with rugged defense rolls. I don't want to do that. Also, you notice how uh, our our kill ratio goes way down um, when we move into a river. It's basically, you know, you're trying to swim and fight at the same time, and you're just going to get slaughtered, so let's just, let's just calm down here and wait for next turn to blast them apart. It does take a few turns. Alright, so now we can finally take the city. I'm getting sick and tired of these arrogant rebels just, you know, ruining my day here. Oh, good. Okay. One to five. Alright, good, they ran away. So, whenever you kill enough units and you manage to suppress the rest, they will run away. Unless they're artillery, then they will just get killed. They'll just, <laughs> they'll just blow up. Usually, unless there's a lot of them left. Alright, good. Oh, I see that. That was an overrun attack. So we only moved one square and we got to attack uh, the unit, which was really weak. So since we killed it one shot, now we can just go on as if almost nothing happened. And this is perfect. Look at this right here. We got the artillery right in the wagon. Now when it's in the wagon, it has to use these defense stats. And that makes me smile. So let's, let's get to it, shall we? There we go, nice. Hey, you better run, you bag of crap. Alrighty. Right now, kill him. Oh, very far range. Okay, yeah, blow him up, whatever. Oh, one left. That's fine. I will use uh, my regulars. 
I want to try and get my German units having as many kills as possible. Because that way they will retain their experience for the next mission. And we want that. We don't want the Spanish or Italian units getting too many kills because they don't follow us in the next mission. And really, I mean, look at this. The crap. So let's go down. Move out. Okay, got our artillery. Uh, let's move forward here. I'm feeling like a risk taker today. Besides, there's not much, doesn't have much strength in it. Alright. I believe that is all for this turn. Unless, oh, can we buy something else? I uh, don't really want to yet. I'll wait till I kill some more units. If I plan this right. Oh, good. That's all you did. Great. <laughs> okay, let's take this town. These jerks are strutting around. I own the place. Like they own the place, sorry. Okay, nah, no, I can't do anything with that. Oh, this looks better. See? Four destroyed, one separate. Oh, it didn't blow up! That's weird, usually they do. Huh. Oh well. Alright, great. Finish it off, will ya? Or wait a minute, do I want you to finish it off? Uh, yeah, I guess. Fine. You really gotta weigh, weigh your choices here, because if you take too long, you risk losing a brilliant victory or a regular victory, which will cost you prestige. You will not get very good prestige if you, uh, <laughs> you know, take too long to complete a mission. Now, I want to get this town over here, and I think this guy can get it in time. It's just one town, there's no one defending it, and every time you capture towns, you get prestige as well. Doesn't matter which country does it. At least I don't think it does. Okay. Hmm. Let's have the Italians get that town. And you guys can go here. Oh good, there's nothing there. We can just take that town. Alright. Italians move out. Good job, boys. Taking that town with no one in it. You brave souls. You know what? Screw them. This is weird. I don't know why that suppression and destroyed ratio, even though it's 4 to 4, didn't kill it. Hmm, usually does. Alright. Anyways. Looks like we'll get another overrun here. And we did. Overrun attack. Great. You can still move, and let's advance forward. Okay, these are our regulars. We'll have them... Uh, there's not really anything up here for a while, so I'm going to just move them ahead of the tank. Normally I wouldn't do that, but I know this map quite well, so... I'm not going to bother. They have very crappy stats, so they can take that town. We want a recon unit up there. I actually should probably put the recon unit further to, uh, closer to the front. <laughs> oh, we'll do that next time. Okay, so we capture the town, so I have more prestige. I want to explain to you the use of pioneers and bridging units. These guys are very, very useful. Pioneers are used for taking out entrenched fortifications, and they're pretty good for assaulting cities. Bridging units very useful if you want to cross the river and there's one bridge and you got a shitload of tanks blocking it so you just set these guys up you send your units across the stream and I could use them for that city up there but I don't think I will no I think I'll get pioneers and I want to put them in a truck because I want them to actually you know get to the, end of the, the other end of the map in time so let's do that and where will we deploy them Hmm. Here. Alright. 
good. Let's move on. Okay, it's their turn. So you see we have 10 more turns for Brilliant Victory, 14 more turns for our Plain Victory, and a Tactical Victory is 18 turns. Now, I usually don't pay much attention to this. I probably should. The weather is fair, so basically I think that that means is there's no benefit or uh, debuff to our, our, our rolls when we attack. So I understand it changes with weather. All right. The Madrid Offensive. Oh, it's raining. I, <laughs> I don't know if that's really important right now or not, but whatever. All right, guys, go over and take that town. Let's send our tank forward. Oh, oh wait, actually, no. Let's, let's uh, scout ahead here. Ah, great. Okay, a T-26. Okay, it's pretty good against hard attack at this level. Yeah, decent soft attack. It's fairly experienced. So this guy needs to needs to die. You uh you have to take him out. <laughs> There's just no other way to do it. So let's bring our units up. Uh... Ah, good. He can block him. Tanks in initially are very useful for just blocking the enemy's advance. So I'm going to move my guys there. Uh, move you there. And take our... What are you? Regulars. Yeah, get up there. Artillery, absolutely. I should probably actually move them now. I'll, I'll send these guys over here to flank them. Good, nothing there. Oh, there's a little... It's kind of cheating, but sometimes we'll do cancel move just to, you know, do like fake scout ahead. It doesn't work if you actually find a unit, then you're kind of screwed because you can't really do anything. It'll just uh, not allow you to cancel your turn or your move with that unit. What's the range on this guy? Oh, four. It's pretty good. Okay, yeah, we'll put him on the bridge. I don't want to put him within one hex away because you might move and attack him. So we'll just put you there. Send you down. That's our pioneers. Let's send them. Mm, let's send them this way. This this road's getting pretty busy. Send the artillery, and it's slow ass wagon hauled by horses. What do you have? You got a wagon? No thanks. You have a wagon as well. Oh crap! All right, the slow advance of <laughs> artillery by horse-drawn carriage. Oh, I forgot all about you. Well, let's see. No more cities you can liberate down there, so let's just... Or, <laughs> occupy, I should say. So let's just move you up. Any other movements we can do? Okay, you guys are... You guys need some replacements, I think. By the way, it is worth it to replace your units when you need to. Uh, as you fight with less and less strength, you are considerably less effective in combat and it just it doesn't do you any good to just think you can rush it because you can't <laughs> now when I use artillery against units and cities their entrenchment value gets reduced he's already at two which is pretty low and I don't think tanks entrench very well in cities that's more a thing for uh, infantry so you see right now his oh it didn't go Oh, right, because I probably didn't do any damage to it. If you don't do any damage to it, that also, uh, uh, the entrenchment value does not get reduced. Ugh. Again, no damage. See, no entrenchment reduction. Oh, well. Tell you what, I'm going to just... Okay, this looks like a good ratio. Please attack him. Please, please kill something. <laughs> nice! Oh, and he ran away into the mountains. Love it. Now, when tanks go into rough terrain, they're not that great, so... Uh, can't do anything with that tank, because it'll also be fighting... Well, it's fighting from the city, so... But maybe... Maybe our infantry can do something. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they definitely can. Ha <laughs> Screw you, buddy. Okay. Let's go to the next city. Let's send, uh... You know, let's let's get the Italians to to go to these cities. They're 
I definitely don't want to use them in a fight. Okay. You guys already moved? Alright. Let's move you down. Let's move our artillery down as well. And let's move you over here just to see what there is. Oh wow, look at that. That's a lot of infantry. So likewise, I'm glad we brought a lot of artillery. If you don't have artillery in this game, you are <laughs> There's no there's no eloquent word for it. You're just you're screwed. Don't don't bother trying. Okay. Move down here. Uh, let's go here. Zone of control. Don't want to get too... Actually, wait, can I get closer without him attacking? Uh, no, I can't. Go down. Good. Get our artillery down there, and it's... Horse-drawn carriage. It's... Might as well move them, right? I mean... Who knows? Alright. Eight turns left. Oh, that was easy. We captured Tor... Uh, Torbalena. Nice. Yeah, I've never even heard of some of these cities. I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to locations of cities around the world. Especially Europe. Alright. So, again, it's that zone of control. we we got to destroy these guys. But you also don't want to waste all your attacks if you're not going to take anything out, because they will replenish their units as well. It's a very important thing to keep in mind there. Let's move our tanks forward. And a recon. Alright, we discovered a little bit more. Oh, oh, that was the guy that ran away, okay. I don't... There might be an artillery here, I'm not sure, and I do not want to move this guy into the river because he'll just get killed. So let's just stay right there for now. Hmm. Could I kill him? Let's try it. Ugh. One destroyed, four suppressed. Ooh, six destroyed, three suppressed. Nice. Maybe we can weaken him up and get an overrun? Nope. <laughs> Not with that guy. Alright, well... Tell you what. Oh, our pioneers could probably get it. Oh. Let's move our tank forward. Huh. Now the reason why they're doing so well against the tanks is because they're so heavily entrenched. And uh, that, that doesn't help us very well. But I think our pioneers could clean house here. Oh yeah, they could. Nice! Alright, there we go. Good stuff. Never mind the fact that they're probably gonna retake that city and I don't want to move a, you know, an infantry there that's in a truck because it will just get blown to pieces. But we'll move them forward. And every time you take out infantry, that's that's good. I just didn't really plan this very well. Let's get our guys closer there. And move this Italian tank down. You guys as well, get out of there. What are these guys? Oh, oh, pioneers as well. Okay, we have pioneers too. Definitely don't want to do that. I don't want to move them into the town with the, the truck. That'll kill them. So, let's just move our artillery down. Great. Good. Uh, okay, fine. Actually, no. I want you guys to be replaced. Because you need... Your strength back. Even if it's 7 out of 10, it's still 
pretty bad. I'm not replacing the strength on these guys because I'm, they're not going to be fighting. They're just useless. So... Oh, here's a, here's a feature I should show you, the strategic map. If ever you're wondering where a town that needs to be uh, you know, retaken is, or a, a port, or an airfield. I don't think there are ports in this game. It'll show on the strategic map as the enemy flag. So we're doing pretty good. I think we got like five turns left to capture this city, which we will do, don't worry. Oh, more. We got six turns after this. So pretty good. Oh! There's some artillery there. The bugger. Oh, that's not good at all. Youch. Alright. You know what? Payback's a bitch. Hmm. Yeah, payback's a bitch. Nice. Let's move. I don't want to move these guys down. I want to get a guy that can move down and attack. So let's try softening up this next group. Which one has a better soft? Oh, ooh. let's pick off the weak guys. And at the same time, we'll do this. Let's get an overrun. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, you can't attack. They're a bit far away still. Okay, no problem. I'll find you yet and kill you, you piece of crap. Don't you worry. Regular. Good. Regulars. Hmm. Can you guys attack it? No, they can't attack it. Oh, oh well. Alright, so I committed a <laughs> Panzer General faux pas. I let the guy get away with very little health left. So he's just gonna heal up as much as he can. And since there's no other enemy units around him, he's probably gonna go, he's, he's gonna receive the full benefit of replacements from the enemy's prestige points. So, oh well, nothing much we can do. Let's move this tank aside. And next turn, we will let it get healed up. Get its units replaced and, oh, I can't you move very far. Oh, I see why. Okay, no problem. Let's move you down there. Move our pioneers over this way. The roads are getting a bit clogged here because of our massive amounts of troops. But we don't really need many more. We don't need any more recon, so we'll just send this guy away. That's pretty much all there is on the map, is what's left down here. And our artillery begin their, or continue their slow advance in their horse-drawn carriages. Send these guys over here, why not? Send the tank down. Let's get, let's get these pioneers into the action here, let's get them closer. Spanish guys with lots of experience. I actually might, I probably should have used them more. You guys, sure, move down. And you just stay there. If I am really so bad that you are the only guys left standing, then I should just quit this game. Alright, six turns. A brilliant victory. Oh dear. Well. <laughs> now you got to see another big mistake that I made. Now, that's what happens when you put artillery into a truck and you move it right to within attacking range of the enemy. Uh, however, this is a uh, blessing in disguise, because look, 
this infantry that could potentially be a very big pain in my ass is now stuck in the river and its defensive values are reduced to zero or well its entrenchments reduced to zero its defensive values are well they're still gonna suck nice blow them away can our pioneers do oh our pioneers could do quite good but I'd prefer them to go somewhere else now I said I was gonna heal this guy and I I meant it so let's get him some replacements you down there capture that city we love our prestige points the lifeblood of this game. Um, hmm. Let's see. Pioneers. How many more turns do we have left? How do you figure that out again? I forgot how to do that. Oh, let's see. Air mode. Hmm. I think we have enough left anyway. So, we're going to. First, I want to destroy these guys. I am not happy with them. So. I will reduce their numbers to. Whoa, that was good. Look at that. That's always nice. Just instantly kill them. Let's get you healed up. Ah, great. Our pioneers can move in and block any advancement. So let's put them in the farmlands here. Ready to strike the city at a moment's notice. And our tanks can move forward. Our artillery can move forward as well. How are we doing for ammo? Okay, so our Spanish artillery has four ammo, Italian has six. Uh, you have seven. You have eight. I think we're, we're doing pretty good. Oh, one. Oh well. No biggie. Okay, so I want to take this airfield as well. If I'm going to do that, I'm just. I don't need much to take it. I mean, we. They have pretty pretty terrible attack values and there's only one artillery unit there so I'm just gonna create my zone of control around these guys so they can't move and attack the more sensitive squishy units these guys I'll get placed you want our full strength remember can they move no not very far okay we can probably just shuffle ourselves down here unless... Oh no, I don't want to do that because if these guys attack, then the artillery will fire back at them and just utterly impair their attack. But if they're in their transport vehicles, like the crappy little wagon here, then they will not be able to uh, provide fire support. So we don't want that right now. Right here is just fine. Unless the range is too much. Or too too little. No, I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right, five turns. Ooh. Nice. That's what we want to see. Oh, go. <laughs> Three in a row. Look at that. See, so that's what happens when you get the artillery all close together here. Is they'll just totally decimate anything that tries to attack you. And I think that one ran away, because I remember seeing five destroyed, and nothing here looks like it even got five destroyed on it, so it probably just ran away. But to where? I don't know. Huh. Oh well, we'll find it. Okay, so, since we have four turns left to get a brilliant victory, I am going to get as many towns as possible, and get as much prestige as possible because that's just how I roll so let's blow you up let's 
get you weakened. Actually, I probably ah, needed to do it anyway. If I can take this airfield, then I believe that's all I need to do. Oh, oh, hey, hey, don't, oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> you stay away from that end turn button. Alright. Let's get the airfield. Try to. Very good. Pioneers. Oh, we can kill this thing. Good. I hate those things. You always want to destroy artillery whenever you can, because it'll just... Well, you saw what it did to them when they tried to attack me, so... Alright, an overrun. Good. Alright, we got the airfield. It's time to take out the city of... Gua Gua Guadalajara. I only know that because I actually... I actually remember my friend saying the name of the city, so... Guadalajara. Let's take Guadalajara. Good job. Closing the stretch. One more. Boom! Alright everyone, we did it. So, I'm going to save the game here. Just gonna save her. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Okay, so... Save game. And I thank you all for watching. This was the first scenario. So, this will give you a basic feel. It's also the same tutorial map. It's a uh, it's pretty easy one just to get your feet wet. And next episode, we will be invading Poland. Yes, yes, throughout this campaign, there'll be many missions where nothing I say will be appropriate, no matter how sensitive I try to be, so I'm just not even going to bother. So until next time, see you later, and have a good night. My commendations, Herr General. Under harsh conditions, you have done very well. Your complete victory has shown that already you have gained valuable experience in this new type of warfare. In addition, the new pro-German government in Spain will prove to be a useful ally in the coming years.